Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. St. James Cup in 2013 murder case to get trial date. Prosecutors are expected to get a trial date for a policeman charged in the 2013 shooting death of Montego Bay resident John Robinson when the case returns to the St. James Circuit Court on July 14. The case against Constable Bird, who is charged with murder, was on Thursday mentioned in court. During Thursday's hearing, Bird's lawyer, King's Count Peter Champagne, was not present, and attorney Martin Thomas, who was to fill in for him, was also not available. The Count Count, however, informed High Court Justice Judy Pusey that the prosecution case file was complete. As a result, Justice Pusey rescheduled the case for July 14, when Champagne is expected to appear, and a trial date will be set on that date. Bird's bail was extended. Bird was charged alongside another policeman, but the Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP, dropped the case against the other cop while Bird's case was being reviewed. When the Independent Commission of Investigations in the COM charged the men, it was believed that they could begin proceedings without the DPP's ruling. This led to the accused men being charged with murder and placed before the court without a full evaluation of the evidence. The prosecutor referred the case to the DPP for a review of the file at the request of Thomas, who was representing the other accused, and Champagne resulting in the formal withdrawal of charges against the other cop. On November 7, 2013, Robinson was reportedly shot to death by members of a police team who were conducting an operation in Mount Salem, Montego Bay in the parish. An eyewitness later claimed that Robinson was unharmed and that the cops held him before fatally shooting him. Investigations by Indicom led to the arrest of two cops who were charged with murder. Update Police identify alleged court thieves killed in Adelphi. The St. James Police have identified the two alleged court thieves who were shot and killed in Adelphi St. James on Thursday morning. They are Alex Green of Charles Drive in Portobello St. James and Dwight Campbell also of a St. James address. The police say about 5 a.m. gunshots were heard coming from a section of the community. About 7 a.m. residents stumbled upon the bodies of the two unidentified men. One of the men was lying along a dirt road with gunshot and chop wounds, while the other man, who also had multiple gunshot wounds to his upper body, was discovered sitting around the steering wheel of a Toyota Noah bus. The police reported they found several goods, which they are believed to have been stolen from a nearby farm on the bus. Deputy Superintendent in charge of operations for St. James Aaron Samuels told reporters that the police are still carrying out investigations into the deaths. Reports that we have gathered so far is that these men seem to have been here to steal goods. He urged members of the public not to take justice into their own hands. We want to leave the police to really go and do the investigations and arrest the perpetrators of Preda Larsney, he stated. Ex-soldier charged for armed robbery A 21-year-old former soldier is set to answer to several criminal charges after he was held in connection with a robber at a shop in Hector's Red District, Portland, on June 29. He is Craig Gay Price of Blacksmith Lane, Seaford in St. Thomas. He is charged with robbery aggravation, unauthorized possession of a prohibited weapon, using a prohibited weapon to commit a felony, and assault at common law. A media release from the Jamaica Constable of Forces Corporate Communications Unit states that Price and another masked man, armed with handguns allegedly, entered a shop about 1.15 p.m. and robbed persons of cash and cellular phones. The men then fired shots before escaping in a motor car. No one was injured. A report was made to the police and Price was arrested and charged on Wednesday. He is set to appear in the Port Antonio Parish Court on Friday. Labourer charged with attempted armed robbery of gas station attendant. A man has been charged after his attempts to rob a gas station attendant and slap board in Kingston was approached by a security guard who opened gunfire resulting in the would-be robber escaping on foot. Charged with assault with intent to rob, illegal possession of firearm and ammunition, and using the firearm to commit a felony, is 23-year-old O'Shane Wright, a laborer of Fort Avenue in Vineyard Town, Kingston. Reports from the halfway three police are that about 5.11 p.m. on Wednesday, June 14, White and another man on a motorcycle drove up to the gas station where the laborer pointed a firearm at a worker and demanded money. She pulled away from both men and alerted the security guard who responded by using his firearm. Both men drove off in a bitter escape, however, 
White along with his firearm fell, leaving him to escape on foot. The police were summoned and one Smith and Weston Springfield firearm with a magazine containing 12 cartridges were recovered. He was subsequently arrested and charged on Wednesday, July 5th. His court date is being arranged. No tears as head of accused rapist found in bag. It was a gruesome find. However, residents of the small community did not shed any tears in fact. They said no one was surprised that the severed head of the man found in a shopping bag was that of one accused of rape and other crimes and who was on the police wanted list. The head identified as that of Ron Barrett, otherwise called Black Seed, a resident of course was found about 6.30 a.m. in a shopping bag at a food stall at Whitney Turn in the community. Up to late Thursday, Barney Starso was not located. Hayward McLean, a vendor, said he was alerted by residents that Bart's head was found at his food stall. When I got the call, I came down here and saw the police draw a long yellow tape and said I cannot open the shop until they finish. It is a crime scene, he said. The head was in a brown shopping bag that you carry to supermarket. They carry the head come put down in front of the stall for somebody to see it, he added. McLean described Barrett as a well-known troublemaker in Porus era. Him do a lot of crime in the community, so him have to run with a mapen. Him do crime a mapen, him have to come and run go a town, and them no want him a town, so him have to come back a Porus, and a hide and a sleep in a tree and a broke people place, said McLean. Other residents who gathered at the era where the severed head was found described Barrett as a problematic. Him name called following the rape of a woman in the community since year, and in the runway, a hide, said one resident. A senior police source corroborated the allegations against Barrett. He is wanted in relation to a case of rape, burglary assault at common law, and unlawful wounding committed in Witten Town, Poros, in February of this year, the police source stated. Quality service rules to be put in place for telecommunication companies, stated Voz. Quality service rules will be put in place for telecommunication companies, before the end of this fiscal year. That's according to Telecommunications Minister Darrell Valls. Speaking at Wednesday's post-cabinet press briefing, Mr. Valls said quality of service with telecom providers is a big issue with complaints being received from customers daily. Mr. Valls said the quality service rules will seek to address the issues highlighted by customers by setting compliance targets. During the period 2023, January to June, the OUR received 130 complaints in relation to ICT quality of service issues. The two broad categories of these contacts, of these, uh, of these contacts were interruption service at 96 and poor quality of service 34. For the preceding three month period, October to December 2022, 51 contacts were made for interruption. Now we know that many people suffer it in silence and don't go through and make the necessary complaints either because they don't believe that they will get any redress or for whatever reason so the complaints are much more before the end of this fiscal year quality service rules under the telecommunication act will be promulgated and operationalized the rules will place obligation on licensees to measure and report on 21 fixed and mobile parameters including fault repair rate, drop call rate, mobile network availability rate, broadband internet availability rate, latency, data transmission speed. The rules also establish targets for each parameter which a licensee are required to comply with. Please remember to subscribe, like, 